Okay, watch out, welcome back. Now, time for some more Farkles. Deliveries from Motone. Let's see what's in the bubble wrap. Is that my Valentine's present? <laughs> yeah. So there we are, little chain guard from Motone. I like this because it's a little bit squarer, looks a little bit more modern than the curvy, curved one that you get. We're trying to lose the classic look on this bike. We're trying to put things on that give it more of a modern vibe. Uh, it's got the alloy wheels, two into one exhaust, piggyback shocks, that sort of thing. And I think that goes with it rather well. Now we're only doing these little bit by little bit purely because of when the salary allows. You know what it's like, You're all the same, I'm sure. It's one of those things that you just do it when you can afford it, don't you? Mm -hmm. Get in touch with your, your favorite accessories company and get yourself some extras for your bike and it's really this is this is by no means seriously by no means a how-to you can't put a chain guard on but this is all about modifying your bike just doing something a little bit different just stamping your own mark on it making it yours and that's what stands them out from the crowd the one thing with these Bonneville Truxton the bikes is they are really made and designed for modifying um, they're a blank canvas and in that sense you can do just what you like with them right rather cleverly because we've got the tech exhaust on this as you can see with the Torx 30, it's a T30 Torx on these, you can't get it in there, which is quite clever, standard stuff, usual pain. So just going to put that in a little quarter inch brittle ring spanner and that just goes in quite nicely. Just get a good purchase on it without denting the exhaust. Should come out quite nicely. In the area that it lives there's always chain lube and stuff so it shouldn't be stiff. Right, there we go. Okay, it's got the old one off. Now the new one's alloy. It's uh, literally, oh my God, feel the way that. Looks heavy. It's so like steel. That's heavy. Oh, that's, that's heavy. About, literally, <laughs> that is about a pound of steel. That's heavy. And that weighs a few ounces. Like a feather. <laughs> well, like a chain guard anyway. Like a chain guard. I'm just gonna pop that on, ever so easy. It just fits literally straight on where the old one came off. It is as easy as that. Right, there we go. So honestly, if you can't fit one of these, you shouldn't be in the garage. It's that easy. Two bolts, job done. This isn't really going to be, it's, gonna, it's not going to look brilliant today because I'll show you what I mean. This, let's just do that up. Um, there you go, that's it. Now it does look a little bit square at the moment, it chopped off, but that's the idea. It's shorter, chopped and square, and it goes with what's coming next. Now, if you look at the way the factory have done it, the factory have got this curvature going on on the steel one, and it matches the mud guard. It's all part of the same vibe, but this now is quite square. The way I like it, and Penny as well, is that you've got the two into one exhaust, the shocks are really modern. This gives it a whole much more modern vibe with the perforated front bit. I think that's quite smart really, but this is all going. So the reason we've done this, and this is honestly, Penny's been designing this, this isn't down to me. She <laughs> likes the look of this, and this is how she wants her bike. So that's on now, it takes five minutes to bolt on, and that's what we bought this month. It's a bit like all these things, when you do lots of modifications to your bike, you change the overall look. You can't always just go out there like they do in the TV shows and just buy this massive great box of stuff. You can do, but it hurts financially. <laughs> these days we haven't got the money. <laughs> so ultimately this is just being done bit by bit, and this month it's just a chain guard. So this, um, Next month we're going to get rid of all this, it'll just be the whole back end in March, all this daft, plastic, stupid Fisher Price backlight that's all going in the bin and it's just going to be taken right back to the seat, little dinky guard and lights, nice smart indicators, we're just waiting for some parts. And we are waiting for them from Motone, Motone are developing the whole look so it's all going to match in together. This particular chain guard is alloy, weighs about honestly 2 or 3 ounces compared to the pound of steel you've taken off, so it gives you a little bit of unsprung weight removed which is all good and that's just as much over 50 pounds. Yeah, fifty four ninety nine. I think. Now, when you compare that to the British Customs version of the same thing, that's eighty pounds. So it's a lot cheaper, and it's a British company, which is kind of cool because British Customs is not a British company. Work it out. It all makes sense. Right. So there we go. That's it. If you want to do something like that, it's motone.co.uk. Is it? Ben? Yes. Go on the website. If you just dial up motone.co.uk, you get two links: one to their eBay page and one to their Facebook page, and then you can check out what they've got. Do check them out because obviously it's not just stuff for Triumphs. They've got stuff for Hondas, all the classic Bobber Brat style thing at the moment. They've got all cool badges, the little winged Honda badges for your tank if you've got an early model Honda SR or something, Yamaha SR. <laughs> <laughs> right, boy. Oops. Um, 
So you can buy an awful lot of bits and pieces from them that are just cool and just change your bike and make it your own. That's what this is all about. Can I just say something? Go on now. There's only 50 of those. There is, that's right. Um, spoke to Sam today from Motown. He said literally these are a limited run at this price. They're a, they're a test thing to see if people like them. There's only 50 available and they are at that price for now. If they have to go into major full-time production, they are going to be more like about £75. But that's the going rate with the BC ones at 80 so that's correct. But there we are. If you want one, grab them quick. They will sell out fast. Normally when we do a video of these, they always sell out quite quick. There it is. A drink. Another pen. Work in progress. We're getting there. There we go. Right, there we go. That's it. Nothing much tonight. Hope you have a good Valentine's Day. Take easy, ride safe, and we'll see you for something again pretty soon.